radioactive dating. Half-life is a really important and useful concept in physics, and one of the main uses is in radioactive dating. This is basically looking at the count rate or the number of unstable nuclei in a sample, and then using the half-life to figure out the age. Now let's look at a really simple example. On the left side, we have a tree, and on the right side, we have an old wheel that's been dug up out of the ground. Now we know that all living things are made of carbon, and a certain percentage of that carbon is always carbon-14, which is radioactive. So let's look at the count rate of a tree that's still alive. We see that it's 200 counts per minute. Now let's look at the cartwheel. The count rate here is only 50 counts per minute. So how long is it since the wheel was made? How old is the wheel? First we need to find out how many half-lives old it is. But if the count rate of a tree that's alive is 200, then when that tree is cut down and turned into a wheel, that activity will slowly start to reduce. Then after one half-life, it would reduce to 100. And then after two half-lives, it would reduce down to 50, which is exactly the count rate of the wheel. So we know that that wheel must be two half-lives old. Now we know that the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,700 years. So, if it's two half-lives old, it must be two times 5,700, which is 11,400 years old. And that's it. That is radioactive dating. Let's look at another example. So here we have a meteor that's crashed to Earth. And we know that when the meteor was created, it was all uranium. But uranium decays to lead. And now there's only one uranium atom to every three lead atoms. So how old is the rock? Well, first we need to find out how many half-lives old the rock is. There's one uranium atom to every three lead atoms. So a quarter of the rock is uranium. How many half-lives would it take to get to a quarter? Well, if we start at one, when all the atoms are uranium, then after one half-life, half of the atoms would be left as uranium. And then after two half-lives, a quarter of the half-lives would be uranium. So again, it's two half-lives old. Now, the half-life of uranium is four and a half billion years. So the age of the rock is four and a half billion times two, which is nine billion years old. Another way you may see this question is you may be given a graph like the one on the screen and be told what the count rate is now. In this case, it's as easy as reading off the graph to find the age. For example, here it might be 20 counts per minute. So if you just read that off, read down, you find the age is 280 years. And that's how easy radioactive dating is. You'll never at this level be asked to find the age of something that isn't a whole number of half-lives. And it's very unlikely you'll ever get asked about a sample that's more than four or five half-lives old. Just make sure you're really careful when counting the half-lives. It's very easy to accidentally count the initial count rate or sample size as one half-life. You always start after it's halved the first time.